Um, I know we've already mentioned him already, but Haaland again tonight, another goal, an mm. assist. That that's I think that is eleven goals, one assist in the Champions League this year in seven games. Is he better than Mbappe? <laughs> this season he's been better, yeah. But overall, no. Can he get better what? than Mbappe? Can he get can better he, than Mbappe? He, def he definitely can. That one hundred percent. There's the potential to. I personally don't think that will happen. Like I think you know, over the course of their careers, I think that Mbappe will be regarded as the better player. But in the same way that Ronaldo sometimes had a better season than Messi, I don't see a reason why Holland can't occasionally have a better season than Mbappe. And it's fair to say this season he's been better than Mbappe, a hundred percent. I hope that's not in dispute. Um, yeah, so oh. e even when, you know, that period where it was Messi, Ronaldo, Ballon d'Ors, Messi was always the better player, but sometimes Ronaldo would, bit, would win the Ballon d'Or because winning the Ballon d'Or isn't about being the best player, it's about having the best season. So there's no reason why Haaland can't have a better season. But hey, if that keeps happening, there's no reason why he can't be regarded as better than Mbappe. But uh, a lot uh, has to happen for that to happen, I think. What I'd say is this. Champions League-wise, neither have won it yet. If he wins it this year with the fact that he has the best goal record for a player of his age in the history of the competition. I think a bit like Messi and Ronaldo, I think most people would agree Messi's overall club career is better, but yeah. Ronaldo's the king of the Champions League. And I think that Haaland's already kind of setting up this like, new narrative of I am now, I'm the new king, I'm taking over, because it's just a ridiculous amount of, I was just looking at it now, um, sorry, Champions League, I'll type it in because it's deleted. Top go top scorers of all time. I think he's got God Muller. Is it Puskas? Puskas are close to him now. What? Puskas. What? The what? In the Champions of... League top scorer ever. It's Cristiano oh, Ronaldo. No, 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 no. I'm just, but I'm just looking at the, the list, right? So, the all-time list, yeah. So Haaland tonight moved on to 34 goals. So he's just gone equal with Gerd Muller. Um, yeah, as an example, he's one goal behind Cavani, who played 70-odd games. He's only six goals now behind Mbappe. Mbappe's played 61 games in the Champions League. Haaland's only played 26 games. Wow. That's, that's the, the astronomical nature. Gerd Müller's record was 34 goals in 35 games, which nobody thought anybody would ever match goals per game. He mm. scores 1.31 goals per Champions League game. The, you've got Ronaldo's the highest goal scorer ever. He only scores 1.7. Messi 1.79, uh, Robert Lewandowski 1.8. Like this guy is is almost doubling these guys for goals. Now, will he do that his whole career? I don't know. But the iron, uh, ironic thing is, most of the Ronaldo's, Messi, Lewandowski's, as they got older, their goal ratio got better. It, it was as young players where they were scoring yeah. one or two a season, sometimes none, especially Ronaldo in his early years. This man in Champions League football, and that's what we're talking about tonight, has set a foundation to if he wins a few of these and keeps scoring like this, you know. He's if he scores again like this next year, he's going to move into the top ten goal scorers in the competition's history. At, wow! With, with, within twenty three years old, within thirty five fucking games as well. It's ridiculous. Well, I, I want to I want to have an argument about Holland. Just please, just one thing. I've been reading a lot lately about oh Holland's ability is not great. Holland's ability is not great. Oh, he's only a tap merchant. Fine. And Mbappe, and I said it before, Mbappe can lead a team so like this. I'm watching the goal today, the cross that he scored today. This guy can improve his touch. This guy can improve his ball control. And if this guy improves his ball control and improves his touch, he's only, what, 21 years old? 22 years 22. old? 22, yeah. So this guy, under the right management, under the right coach, which is Pep Guardiola and his coaching staff, imagine if this guy, with the scoring ability and the positioning he is in right now, every time he is in the right position to score a goal, improves his touch and improves his crossing. Like today's cross is a top-notch one, that second goal he scored. If this guy improves, who says that this guy cannot be one of the best players to ever grace this game? I'm, I'm sorry, this guy today is not only a tap-in merchant, he can cross, he can assist, he can run with the ball now, and he's only 22 years old. And no, nothing will stop this guy, as Terry yeah. said. I'm sorry, this guy, he's the sky's the limit for him, and with the goal and scoring ability that he has, he can be one of the best players we've ever watched, ever, ever in our life. I mean, this, this season, he's got 52 goal con uh, 53 goal contributions, 46 goals, <sighs> and seven assists. Mbappe's number two in Europe with the second most on 39 in all competitions. And look, and Mbappe, and I'm not taking anything away from Mbappe. I think Mbappe is amazing. He's truly world-class. He's But he is playing in a substandard league compared to the Premier League. Mm. 
I think if he goes to the Premier League or goes to the Liga, I think Mbappe is going to do it. But he's also two years older than Haaland. He's got to make a step now because Haaland got played down a lot. And this is why I, I, I bring it up. When Haaland was doing it in Holland, uh, the, the Austria, not a good enough league. Even when he was doing it in the Bundesliga, Bundesliga tax was being banded across Europe. But yet there's never, ever League R, Uber League like tax that goes on Mbappe. It's kind of, he's kind of left alone. For me, Mbappe has now got to get himself out of that average league and into one of the top two leagues in the world, Premier League or, or La Liga. Because what's going to eventually start to happen is Haaland's goals are going to start to count for a lot more. And Haaland's also going to become more famous because of the amount of eyes that watch the Premier League versus eyes that watch the Uber Eats League. It's as simple as that. Right now, Mbappe is, is clear of him in terms of the social media reach, what he's done at such a young age. But... Haaland will come up fast if he keeps scoring and doing this, especially because, again, if he lifts up that Champions League trophy, the level of fame that comes from that is, is, is next degree. I, I would love yeah. to see him both in the... Listen, Man United might be getting taken over by the Qataris. Man United should sign Kylian Mbappe and then they can go head-to-head -head with one another in the Premier League. And then I'll change my mind. I'll definitely say Mbappe's better. But, like, that's what I want to see. Mbappe and, and... Imagine Mbappe and Haaland both living in Manchester, fighting it out yeah, every crazy. year. Oh, that's what we need. Happen. That's what we need. Happen. What, one of the problems with Haaland is that he's Norwegian, team. guys. This is one of the problems. He's Norwegian. Mm -hmm. So he's not going to achieve something with the national team. Mbappe is always going to have the national team at his back. Always going to have the national team, the World Cups. Because France will reach finals. We'll get to semifinals of the World Cup. We we'll, might win Euros. Haaland, it's very hard for him. This is one yeah. of the things that will stop Haaland from being one of the greats because we have seen George Weah before. We have seen a lot of players, but to be French, to be Italian, to be even English is, is kind of like, it's easier but than being Norwegian. No, it's true, but I'll say this. I'll say this. If Mbappe doesn't make a move and he's out of Champions League and there's like two, sometimes maybe two and a half months of Holland still in that competition, getting the praise and getting the highlights, it's going to it's going to weigh a lot heavier because Holland's going to be in those big moments, and Mbappe is going to be sitting at home just dealing with the league play. Imagine I if Holland wins the Euro with I, Norway. Guys. I completely disagree. I completely disagree. You see, we've got a lot of fan base who believe that oh, you have to go to Real. Madrid. But listen, imagine he wins the Champions League with PSG. Historic. His oh yeah. He, he Mythical. Goes down in history. He won't he, do it. He won't. Holland PSG really won't win it. The first Champions League goes down in history. Yeah, people remember Ole Gunnar Solskjaer from the goal at Bayern. People remember the the 1990. So to me, if I was Mbappe before, he had to stay at PSG because he's going to Real Madrid. You're just another number. You're no. just another. No. You know what you I'm just scared. You're no, scared. No, you're scared. No, he's kind of right. He's kind of right. No, he's not. <laughs> no, Real Madrid uh, have had Hamza, feet. Hamza, Hamza, Hamza. Just, just, just to let you know you're wrong. You're another number at Real Madrid if you go there and you make no impact and you're in and out the team. Uh, what's the name of that striker they signed a few years ago? It was Jovic. 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 If you do Jovic, then you're just another number. If you go to Real Madrid and you deliver, like Karim Benzema, like Cristiano Ronaldo, like Raul, I think he came for their academy, to be fair. You go there and if Haaland goes there or Mbappe goes there, let's say Mbappe, they're both linked to Real Madrid and they go there and they're scoring... 40, 50, 60 goals a season like they're doing now, that propels you to another level of stardom. By the way, if Man United sign Mbappe, because of our fame, and he's, if, he, if he comes to Man United, and I'm using United as an example because we're yeah. of similar size globally, if an Mbappe comes to a Man United and was scoring 40, 50 goals a season in all competitions and started winning the major trophies with us, the level of fame you get for being at those clubs is so much greater than being at Paris Saint-Germain. Again, their brand's quite strong now. People like their kits. But PSG, yeah, but Terry. PSG don't move people as a football club. They just don't. But but at the same right. time, I think that the, I think there's a distinction here because there's been a drought at United. No disrespect. So him coming in, that's gonna like that's gonna be a great, great news story, great resurgence. But to to Hamza's point, going to Real Madrid, they've been yeah. having this success so consistently, and it's just another trophy for them. I've heard them talk about managers and players like You've if only went, from, from, I've heard about their fans saying, oh, you've only won one with us or yes, you, exactly. you've been here, move on. I hear that. But I also heard people say that if Harry Kane went to City, it would mean nothing to you lot because you win leagues anyway. So you wouldn't really care about him. You, 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 lot, you care about Haaland, don't you? 
No, no, because we care, we care about Holland. Of course, we you, care were, about you, Holland. Were, you were winning leagues without him. So why wouldn't Real Madrid care about someone coming in and okay, scoring but, 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 goals for their club? But no, 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 no. This, no, this, exactly this, the same thing. thing. No, no because Harry, same Harry, thing. Harry Kane no. would not come to City and do what Holland's doing. No. I don't care okay. what any okay. of you say. Okay. That's the wait a minute. Wait a minute. But Haaland, but Haaland, could, oh, sorry, but Mbappe could go to Real Madrid and score like Haaland scoring for you guys. He could go there and do it. Why wouldn't it move Real Madrid fans? Why wouldn't no, they be happy? I'll tell you why. Wait, wait a minute. Why, why, wouldn't, why wouldn't Kane do the same thing that Haaland's doing right now? Why wouldn't he? Because he's not built like Holland. Holland's a beast. Holland's mentality is the killer. He wants to win everything. He's not just happy to get the goal tally. Holland wants trophies. There's a difference between the two players. That's wait why. What do you mean? What do you mean? Wait a minute. What did What's I say? Was wrong? What? When has Kane? When has Kane gone? I don't want to win a trophy. When has when Kane, has Kane said that? The day he chose to remain at at, Hot, yeah. at Tottenham. That was his brother. Don't put. Okay, this is the thing I hate when people blame this on Harry Kane. That was his stupid, idiotic brother. You're blaming his, his brother. Friend. His brother yes, works for him, agent. my friend. That's his, he doesn't work for him anymore because he's an idiot. Okay, but you bl- that's that's like an owner of something blaming the employees. Harry Kane is the employer. Yeah, so if he wanted the move, he would have ah, made it happen. I, here's the other thing. You have to remember, when he signed that contract, it was right after we made it to the Champions League final. The Short-sighted. club looked like he was on the trajectory. Come on, it's no understandable. One signed, no one I don't know why he signed five years. Well, I do know because his brother's an idiot. But at that you time, you played his brother again. What is? Okay, go ahead. I'll let you. His brother was the one to sign the contract. I don't that. understand that. Yeah, go on. No, so, so we're getting slightly off track here. Just, I, I, and I get. I'll I get talk about Mbappe one. But for me, though, like I just said, I, I don't agree. And Real Madrid fans can correct me if they want, but I don't think Real Madrid fans would sign a player like Mbappe. Who, would, who could score 50, 60 odd goals a calendar year for them, win them major trophies? I don't think they would just go, nah, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't move us emotionally. We're no. not bothered about it. He's just a, another one in a long line of players. No, but, How would they do yeah. that? Yeah. So, the really explain it. Sorry, guys, slow down, everyone. Explain to me why they wouldn't care if a new superstar came in, scored goals, and won them trophies. Well, I, I don't even think so. So first of all, I agree with you, Terry, but I don't even think it's really relevant what Real Madrid fans think. Should, should, I think the point, uh, I, think, I know it's spiraled a bit. I think the whole original starting point was what's the perception of these players? And yeah. Mbappe's, percep- assuming Mbappe goes to Real Madrid, his percep- the perception of Mbappe, the book doesn't stop at just Real Madrid fans. It's not really relevant what Real Madrid fans' perception is because there are loads of other football fans in the world. So Real Madrid fans are notoriously um, very demanding but it really matters more what other what the perception of other people think. And, you know, I, I'm not a demanding Real Madrid fan. If Mbappe goes to Real Madrid and wins Champions League, etc., I'll, I'll personally have a much higher um, perception of him and image of him than if he just stayed at PSG in a comfortable league where he's always going to get, like, knocked out in, like, the quarterfinal or semifinal of the, of the Champions League and not really um, doing anything of, of notes domestically. So I think that... So first of all, I agree with you, Terry, but also I don't even think that's really uh, the main point. I think that actually... Um, perception is much bigger than just Real Madrid fans. If Mbappe goes to Real Madrid, I think the perception of other fans is what actually matters more. No, no, and I, only, I yeah. Right here. And when you're at and Real Madrid, you, you, you're elevated to another level because when you play, and that's one of the things that City struggle with in terms of their your players getting the recognition that they deserve because City are just a a, a hugely smaller football club than than a Man United than than a Liverpool as an example. If Liverpool had had Sergio Aguero. I'm telling you this now, as I believe this to be fact. If Sergio Aguero had his career at Liverpool, won what he won at City at Liverpool, I guarantee you there'd be a big push from the media, rivals and everything to have him crowned as the GOAT of the Premier League. No disagreement. Yeah. We, that, we 100% we, agree. Yeah, and, 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 and yeah, 100%. Sorry, someone's going to say something. I was going to say about Mbappe. See, I believe you. I've always said it. Gentle. Push, I got to drop this. Fico, Thanks, Derek. Zidane. Look at the names. Okay, I, he goes there. Benzema won six Champions League. Modric won five. Yeah. The, the standard is so high for him to reach that legend status. To, for me, if he wins the Champions League at PSG, he's a legend straight away. PSG has never won the Champions League. Yeah. He's the first one to have taken the, the, the yeah. Champions but, but, League final. Hamza, and, Hamza. And he'll I be hear, remembered. I, me, I hear one. you, but you, you, you didn't quite hear, I think, what Nobin said. Yes, by Re- Real Madrid is a legend. So 
Harry Kane at Spurs is a legend yeah, and, the yeah, won a tr- and he hasn't won a trophy, but he ain't a footballing legend. If 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 you you could win the Champions League at PSG, you'd probably have to win it more, three or four times to become a, a, a club level of footballing legend at a Paris Saint-Germain. You have got to be winning Premier Leagues and La Liga's, Serie A's, Champions Leagues. With those, bit, you've got to be doing it in a league that people care about, and or at clubs that people care about, or doing it with a team that's unexpected. Like I just don't. I, I think you need that.